Hey everybody, uh, my name is Brent Ellis. Uh, I'm an amateur astrophotographer out of Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, I'm going to be taking a look today at a new piece of equipment I've got for my Skywatcher 150i uh, mount. So uh, I typically switch between three different mounts. I've got a Star Adventure uh, 2i here. Uh, this is a great lightweight mount. Uh, I usually will just use a camera and a lens on it. Uh, but it's, it's how I got started uh, to, um, with a, a small mount and kind of worked my way up to some of these bigger ones. Uh, this, this piece of equipment, all told, is about nine pounds before I put anything on top of it. So, again, very lightweight. Um, working my way up, this, uh, this is the workhorse uh, mount. This is my Skywatcher EQ6R. Uh, all told, this thing is about 56 pounds, so a little bit more of a beast to get out and set up and tear down again. Uh, but very strong, very stable. Once I've got it set up, it can take anything I put on it. Uh, up to about 44 pounds is the, the capacity on, uh, on this mount. But the one that I'm mainly using these days is now the Skywatcher 150i Wave Mount. Uh, this thing is super impressive. Very small, very lightweight. Uh, I've got it riding on a ZWO TC40 uh, uh, tripod with the, a little pier extension here. And it goes right on top of that. Uh, all told, this setup is about 22 pounds. So again, 56 pounds, 22 pounds, about a third of the weight on my, my setup. So right now I mainly switch between two different refractors. I've got a smaller refractor, which again, once I've got everything kind of set up here on it, uh, this is about 20 pounds. So the, uh, the 150i handles that like a champ. Uh, it can take um, uh, payloads up to 33 pounds. If I add a counterweight bar down here, it can go up to 55 pounds. Um, so I've got a small refractor, handles it, like I said, like a champ. Um, I've got a larger one that gives me a little bit more pause. So again, <clears throat> pick this bad boy up. So using an Explore Scientific 127, um, once it's all set up with all my equipment and everything, about 33 pounds, but it's a lot bigger, a lot, a lot longer than my smaller refractor. And it will ride on this thing, uh, but it makes me a little bit leery. Again, the, the EQ6, very strong, very sturdy. Um, this one right now, it's got a little bit more wobble to it. Maybe it doesn't feel as secure. Like I said, I think it will work uh, just fine, but for a little bit of peace of mind, I really have not felt comfortable using my bigger scope on it yet, uh, and I certainly want to look at some other big scopes in the future. I'm looking at a, a maybe some larger SCTs. I want to use it with the 150i, but I need a much uh, sturdier base at this point. Um, that's where uh, this new product from Skywatcher, and I haven't even pulled it out yet, but uh, there's an adapter that's going to let me attach this uh, Wave 150i right on top of this uh, steel tripod on the EQ6. A lot stronger, a lot more sturdy of a base. Uh, I don't really have to worry about maybe it, I don't know, tipping over or anything like that. I don't think that would be a problem with this one, but it just it, it, it gives me the heebie-jeebies to, to have that big mount on it, especially if I'm not with it all the time, if I go back inside and, and leave it unattended. If I can get the 150 on a more sturdy base like this EQ6R uh, tripod, I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, and that's where this comes in. I haven't even opened this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see uh, what we've got here. So I ordered this part uh, right from, um, uh, right from Skywatcher. And I just got it yesterday. I haven't even had a chance to really really look at it so I'm um, just kind of pulling it out now so this will give me a, a little pier extension that is going to fit right on top of the 150 or right on top of the EQ6R tripod uh, and then it looks like my uh, my 150i is going to slot right here and then I can secure it and have it riding on that secure uh, tripod so I'm going to go ahead and try to take this thing apart um, I'll take off this mount and we'll see what it looks like as I get this new piece uh, attached. So 
bear with me. Let's see uh, what this looks like. I'm gonna start by taking off the big heavy mount. I'm gonna secure it from the, the bottom here first. Carefully put this guy over here. All right, cool. Um, that mount, very, very heavy. Again, once you have that on the tripod here, uh, it's, it's maybe 28 pounds. I forget exactly what that, that mount is, but uh, when you're carrying, if you, if you have to set up and tear down every night when you want to set up like I do, uh, it can be a little bit heavy to kind of lift and pull out and get it ready to go. That's where hopefully this will help alleviate a little bit of that, those challenges. So I've got a couple different parts here. Let's see if I can open this up and see what we got. Okay, so first up, um, all right, so I got a little smaller adapter wheel. So I think this is for the 100i model. Uh, it's got a little bit smaller base than this one, so it probably slots right in the top. Don't need this. I'm going to set this aside for now. And let's see what we got here. So again, uh, it looks like what we have. Let's figure out how this, uh, this piece works. I didn't get any instructions that came with it, but uh, let's take a minute and see if we can figure out how to attach it here. Um, so it looks like I'm going to need to remove this base. Uh, so I've got a little stopper that's used with the um, EQ6R. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out uh, for now. Uh, this is usually where I, it stops and points north and you can use it as you're adjusting the mount. I'm going to set that aside. And then once it's out of the way, this, this piece is going to slot right on top. And then I can use uh, I can use the spreader down here to lock it in. So I'll, I'll screw that in in just a moment. And then let me see if I can figure out how do we actually attach that bottom piece. So let me take a look here. All right, I have these Allen wrenches. Open up one of these, and it looks like looks like I can unscrew these top pieces. So, what I'm trying to figure out first. Um, so I know at the bottom here, the the spreader is going to screw in here. I do have a screw up here that will be used to secure the the 150i. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to use that though or not. So maybe I don't. Just gonna make sure these are all tight. So those are all fine. Um, and then I have a single, a single little screw here that'll hold it in place. So I'm gonna loosen that up and we're just gonna try it without and see, see how this works. But uh, I do have a, I think this is maybe 3 8 screw in the top there that I could get into the base. Just not sure how to get to it yet. Uh, we'll skip over that for now. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure Got that on there. Got that on there pretty good. So 
All right, so I've got the base uh, attached to the EQ6 tripod here, so pretty easy to just kind of screw it in the same way that I would screw in the, the mount. On the top, I think I figured out here, so I'm gonna use one of these Allen wrenches. I'm going to loosen up the screws. Go around the outside here, see if I can carefully not lose any of these pieces like that. And this is gonna allow me, all right, it's gonna allow me to get up underneath here and pull out that, that piece. Um, it's a little bit tedious, but uh, that'll, that'll keep it secure. So uh, I've got the top pulled off now. So what I can do, creates a bolt there. So what I can do now is I'm going to take off the, the 150i from my ZWO tripod over here. Let me loosen these up. And get that direction. Alright, and then that pulls right off. So again, here's my 150i. Um, very lightweight, you know, I think it's about 10 pounds or so. Um, but I've got the base down here, but now I can go ahead and just attach uh, like so. And I don't know if it matters yet which way everything's facing, but again, I'm just trying to hold it up and do this at the moment. It's a little bit interesting. So. Go ahead and do that, and now I've got the the top locked in here. All right, and then okay, got it. So that's okay. So then this this one will go ahead and give me that extra layer. So I'm holding it from the bottom, then I'm tightening it around the outside. So I got two layers of holding onto the mouth. So that's pretty nice and uh, nice and secure. So then. What it looks like I'll do is I'll just kind of line that back up. Um, so again, I'm going to need to pay attention to which way I want north to be, which is, for me, it's going to be that direction. And then, all right, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of lining it up here to, to make it work the way that I want it to. So I'm going to loosen these back up. Spin it, and that looks that looks better to me. So it's going to take a little bit of planning uh, when I'm setting this up to make sure I don't mess mess up my directions. It's just easier if north is facing the right way here. All right, so now I'm going to tighten in this this top bolt or screw. And now we're ready to rock and roll. I can line that up now. And again, I've got these little bolts that are just gonna go right back in here and then I can tighten them with that Allen wrench and then I am super secure. Get all those started. Keep that Allen wrench handy. Tighten, tighten these up. solid so again I can already tell this thing is super um, super stable uh, I can definitely feel the weight that I don't have in this lightweight tripod uh, again the, the ZWO TC40 that I have is awesome it's working great for my smaller refractor I've been using it for a couple weeks now and it is a rock star but again for peace of mind this is gonna make me feel really good so I've got it secured from the bottom with the, the spreader here. I've got it secured at the top with that 3 8 uh, screw. Uh, I've locked it in with a couple of bolts here. And uh, this, this thing is not going anywhere. So this is going to make me feel... It's going to make me feel a lot better as I take my larger equipment here. Just 
gonna throw, throw this on real quick and see, see what we think. Worry about balance later, but just gonna go ahead and attach it. Alright, so got it on, got it tightened here. Alright, now I'm ready. Uh, I am feeling feeling good. This thing is on, on secure. Again, the base, I am a lot less worried about anything like this thing tipping over if I'm leaving it unattended. Again, I don't know that that was a risk, but it just it didn't feel right. Uh, it, it made me uncomfortable considering it. With this thing now, um, I am, I'm not worried about this thing at all. So, um, very exciting. Uh, I can't wait to try this out. Um, again, I've only imaged with my smaller refractor, uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to giving the uh, 150i a whirl uh, with this, this group of equipment. Um, I'll have to figure out, so I'm about 30, 29, 30 pounds with this setup, so I'm kind of pushing the upper limit of what it says to do without that counterweight. Um, so I'll probably throw on the counterweight right here whenever I'm using this refractor just for um, a little bit more of that balance. But uh, yeah, excited. Uh, super easy to put on, just out of the box. It's just you know basically a, a single piece of equipment and an Allen wrench. Uh, everything else, I, like I said, I don't, don't think I'll need this. I think this is for the 100i, so you put that in if you need to shrink that ring down even smaller. So don't worry about that. And then I also need to make sure I don't lose my little stopper here whenever I take that off uh, or when I put my EQ6R uh, mount back on. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with the ride and checking this out. And uh, clear skies, everybody. Thanks.